What's going on, guys? I'm not sure what part of the country you live in, but right here in southeast Tennessee, it's been doing nothing but what you see right here behind me and pouring down rain pretty much for the better part of a year now. And thanks to every single one of you on YouTube, we've been getting calls not only here locally, but we've been getting calls all over the freaking country, guys. And I'm getting ready to share with you an amazing story right now about a friend of mine that's seven and a half hours away that we were just fortunate enough to be able to help. And to hear this whole story, I got to take it from the top. So it's going to start right in here sitting at my computer. And right here is where I sit at the kitchen table, guys. This is my freaking office. This is where I handle all my business. I do it all right here on this laptop, just like I'm sitting here right now in my creator studio of my YouTube channel. And I put all of these crawl space videos on my YouTube channel just like I've been doing for so many years now, guys. Why can you homeowners not think in your head to look up videos about people that are claiming to do services that you need to get done? Guys, if you're getting ready to have to spend thousands of dollars on any service in the world, I don't care what it is, if it's a residential service and you need that service done, and you're sitting there at home Googling on that keyboard just like I do right here, and they don't have any videos, for you to get online here and search and sit here and watch with your own two eyeballs, let me tell you something. When you hire them people and you get done dirty and it costs you thousands and thousands of dollars, don't say that this old boy from Southeast Tennessee didn't warn you. Boom! I'm going to try to tell this story without getting too wound up. You see here though, guys, I'm going to flip it around here and show you this laptop. And I'm going to click this other open window right here. What you're seeing right here, guys, that is crawlspaceartist.com. And right here at crawlspaceartist.com, don't think it's just a sales pitch. Don't think we're just blowing smoke. Don't think we're talking job. Don't think I'm trying to sell you a freaking job. We got plenty of jobs, I promise you. But right here, you're going to find the world's largest crawlspace encapsulation video library. Huh. Now, if I'm a homeowner... And I'm getting ready to spend over $10,000 of my hard-earned money. And all these companies are wanting my business. And out of all of them, I can't find a freaking video one. But this old boy down here in Southeast Tennessee has got hundreds of videos for me to watch. This old little boy down here in Southeast Tennessee has got more videos on the freaking topic than anybody in the whole wide world. So what does that tell you if you ain't got enough sense to hire us, because let me tell you something, listen to me right here. Right here in Tennessee, locally, we can beat them all, promise you. Right across the state line in Georgia, we can beat them all. They just found out almost eight hours away in Fayetteville, North Carolina, we can beat them all. And if you're doing this for a living, and you're watching this video right now, look here, you look real close, we can beat you too, you hear me? Getting wound up on you, I apologize. But listen, let me tell you why I get wound up. Let me tell you why I get so fired up and why it gets my blood boiling like it does, baby. Because let me tell you why. My friend, we talked about this work back in November of last year. I told her, said, listen, listen to me. If you're willing to pay that hotel bill, if you're willing to cover that fuel cost to get us eight hours away, we'll come do that job for you. We'll come do that job for you better than anybody you could have ever gotten in your life to come out there to your house and do that job for you. Do you hear me? That's what we can do. But guess what? My friend decided to go with someone locally. And I understand that. And I have no ill will towards her for doing that. Listen, good God Almighty, guys, we're almost eight hours away. If you had the choice, wouldn't you prefer to do business with someone right there in your hometown? Of course you would. But let me tell you what ended up happening. And let me tell you what's probably going to end up happening to you if you don't listen to me real close. That company, just like most companies, wanted 50% down. They took over $6,000 of my friend's money. My friend works hard for her money. My friend ain't got tons of money and thousands of dollars to just go out here and lose. And that company went to work. And that company worked for a day and a half before she realized, just by looking at what they was doing, that they wasn't doing what she'd been seeing us do for years in all of our videos. They wasn't doing what we talked about doing back in November. And guess what she did? She was smart enough to let them go. And she was told, listen, we was only a day and a half in on this job. We'll be able to reimburse you some of your money. We're going to get you some of your money back. But here we are, guys, now. Weeks and weeks and weeks later. 
Guess how much money my friends got back out of that six thousand something dollars? Take a wild guess. Any of you out there got any good guesses? Drop in the comments below if you think my friend got back any of that six thousand something dollars. Because if you think she got back a freaking penny of that money, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think that you'll get back some of your money too, well, if you do, you're just lucky. So if you want a piece of advice from somebody that's been working under these crawl spaces now since 2008, I don't got some engineer buddy chirping in my ear telling me everything he thinks that's good and cool about these crawl spaces. I don't got some big shot millionaire builder buddy of mine that's making bank cranking out house after house after house and thinks he's a crawl space expert and thinks you need to be opening up HVAC lines until you crawl space. No, I don't got nobody like that. All I got is monitor systems under every single job that we've done since 2008. And either them numbers on them monitor systems are lying to me or them monitor systems are pieces of crap and don't even work. And I've been using the same monitor system since we started the game and I don't believe that's the case. So listen to me. If you want this work done, if you are in need of our services, listen close, guys. I ain't playing with you right now. If you need us, reach out to me. CrawlspaceArtist.com. Direct email. I want the best at CrawlspaceArtist.com. Get me on the phone, guys. I might save you. I might save your loved one. I might save your best friend. More money than you could have ever dreamed that I could have saved them. And guys, we can get that work taken care of for them. And we can get that work taken care of for you. Just like I'm about to show you that we went almost eight hours away and got this work taken care of for my friend Rosie. And in this video that you're about to see, one of my best friends, Drew Burt, he took it upon himself to make this video. And take a look now at this North Carolina French Strain Sump Pump Job Rescue that we just did for my friend Rosie. All right, guys, we're here in Fayetteville, North Carolina to do a job. Really not sure about this camera even if I'm on film or not. So let's go back here and see how we can get this thing started and figure out what we're gonna do to make this house right underneath with all this water. Well, here they are, the wrecking crew. All right, man, day one here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We're about to get this one crack a -lacking. Well, I just figured out the screen goes black and you can't see nothing, so I'm not sure if it's recording or not, but Hey, my first time ever working a GoPro. Never even touched one. Yeah, just to say better. But I need to see what I'm doing. Huh? I need to see how you're messing up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tito, what do you want to say about this? Haciendo otro trabajo, posiblemente reparando un trabajo que fue empezado, pero empezó de mala condición. So vamos a tratar de repararlo. Vamos a repararlo con Tennessee Technician. Let's go. Here's something that somebody's done. Tried to fix the problem. Small basin hole. A lot of digging already done. Just gotta clean it up. Somebody had a pipe in here. This is those water peanuts that goes inside of one of those socks to help filter the water instead of gravel. So here we're gonna show you how the previous people dug the ditch. So it appears this ditch is, you know, six to eight inches deep right here because they just came in from the wall and dug down. But if you take a look right here, they were six inches off from the actual foundation of the house. So, so actually like their the ditch is really only two inch. about two inches deep. Yep. And that's where Tennessee Technicians comes into play because we know how to do this and do it right. We, that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, folks, ladies, gentlemen, everyone who's watching this are going to watch it. We're about to get this thing started, get this thing mocked out, and head back to the southeast corner of Tennessee. There's basically all sand here and not soil. What we're gonna have to do is dig this sump basin hole a lot larger than normal and deeper than normal and put a good gravel base down in the bottom and uh, compact it down in there and then go ahead and put our basin in quickly and backfill it with gravel after we, of course, wrap it with fabric to keep this sand from plugging up all our holes. So this one will have to be a little bit special, a little bit different than what you guys are used to seeing, but we got this under control. All right, guys, we've been working for a couple hours. Let's go in here and see what these guys has got going on. See if anything's changed in this nice sandy soil they have here in 
Fayetteville. God, it's tough getting these across the base first get in. Plus, don't help being fat. Look at all this groundwater. It's probably two foot of water. Been nice if I could have brought my light so y'all could see. Well, about fail. You wouldn't have to fall forward, would you? He's <laughs> got short jokes. <laughs> it's coming together. So what do y'all think about digging in sand? It's different for this. It's diff it's definitely different. It's hitting building sand castles. Yeah, but when we get done, it's gonna be better than a sand castle. Dude, we can. <laughs> Look, we need to get our Tennessee technician's flag and post it. That's a long ways over there. Y'all seen that? I got it on film. Tito trying to sling sand in my face. <laughs> and he laughs about it. He wasn't nice to them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to get out of here. See you shortly. All right, guys. Day number two here at Fayetteville. Looks like we dug our basin hole, which has collapsed in, filled back up because of the sand and all the water. We're gonna show you this morning how much water is under the ground after it's filled up a three foot hole that's already been dug yesterday. Not too good with this camera. So we left you guys yesterday. We were digging the ditches and I think we have started digging the sump pump hole. But we come back today, this is day two, North Carolina job. And uh, this is what we're, we're faced with today. We got standing water and our sump hole and the lower part of our ditches. So that tells us our ditches are bringing the water to where we want it. It's collecting water and not holding water anywhere else. We've done good so far. Now we got to focus on this hole and getting the water out of here this morning, getting our pump hooked up. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll, man, because of the rate that this sand, soil, whatever you want to call it is eroding. We're going to have to dig this thing out really fast, throw our silk fabric wrap basin in the hole and hurry up and get some gravel around here before this thing starts collapsing on itself don't get too close to the edge look how far back it is yep start playing slow we got our gravel bed going in our sump basin hole here we're gonna uh get this basin put in here before this thing collapses what do you got wrapped around that it's our landscape fabric silt screen keep the sand from plugging up all the holes in our basin Stopping our pump up. I'm sitting here plumbing this pump in. The water is rising. If you look right here, along the bottom of this pump, you can see water rise. All right, guys. So it hasn't rained here in Fayetteville and like since last Sunday or Saturday. And I've discovered that there's still so much water in the ground under this house. It's got our pipes backed up. Check out all, all this water under this house. It's about 20 gallons. Probably about 20 gallons. In our basin. We left yesterday. It maybe had five. So there's a lot of water here. We got something right because uh, our basin's filling up to the point of our ditches and just to get our pump on and uh, get this water out from this house. What do you think, T.L.? Look good, man. We're doing a good job. All right. That's all we need to know. All right, guys. We're back over here on this North Carolina job. And uh, they've called me in because it's time to get all this pipe laid. Keep your eyes on the water within the trench and look at the flow rate that it's headed towards our basin area. Man. And all that water is then collected inside that basin and then sent out this discharge line right here over to our pop-up drain, which you can see Tito now backfilling with our drainage gravel to keep any of that dirt from coming around and clogging that drain area. Then dirt on top should be good to go. Just the way we do it. It is what it is. And there it is right there, finished. I've been using this thing for three days. And for some reason, I can't figure out how to turn the damn thing off. All right, guys. French drains all in. Time to do the ground barrier and close up all these vents. He missed that fans. 
Got the water hose pumping into this house on the high side, trying to split both ways, left and right. Let's go in here and see what's going on with this uh, water running in this house very quickly. Let's crawl this crawl space and see what we've got done, accomplished here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Sure is a long ways down there. Let's go this way, shorter. Look at this. Just the same old thing. Different longitude and latitude. That's about it. As everyone can see, it's nothing but sand down here. Man, it's easy. So easy. Too bad we don't have sand at home, but I guess I could relocate if that's what I wanted. But I doubt it. Can I go through that? I'll come over here towards me. I think I can go through that. You think I can get through here? No. No, I'm going. No, I'm going. Literally got eight inches to crawl through here. <laughs> Look at that. There's my finger. That's like six inches, maybe. Let's say eight. I think I can do it. Mike says I can't do it. I love the challenge. Look at there. I'm already halfway. Nowhere. And there I go. <laughs> Gotta have ninja skills. Precautionary measure that we take. I don't know what he's talking about. Companies don't take. I don't know what Mike's talking about. Let's get him to explain. Look, here. here's Mike right here, y'all. He's literally at eight feet. This camera just seen so far away. What are you talking about? So something that we do here that a lot of people don't take the time and the extra measure to do is uh Look for stuff like this. This little rock laying down here with all this stuff. Yeah, you can't even see it. As soon as we come down here to start trying to lay our poly, look at that right there. That's a guaranteed hole every time. So to prevent stuff like that, we've got special made tools. Drew made these for us. Yeah, back like when it was 16 like degrees that. outside. If you guys want one of these custom rakes, holler at your boy Drew. Yeah, I'm good at custom making tools. But we come down here and we completely grade the whole area underneath this house with these rakes looking for any obstructions anything that might poke through our poly poke one of us anything like that you know cause a wrinkle cause a lump a hump a bump cause it to be anything but perfect that's yep. what we want to see it's kind of like that uh cream you're using on your face the other night hey man Shh. oh my bad let's go check this out here in Fayetteville, you never know what's here. Right now we're here running water, sirens, airplanes, helicopters, bombs going off, machine gun fire. It's like being in a, uh, a video game. Yeah, that's it. Like Call of Duty. We have been called to do the duty. This system's working. Looks to be like a job done right. Fayetteville, North Carolina job looks like a wrap. Tennessee technicians have stamped and sealed on a job done. Let's go check it out. Of course, we do not do the piers. It was already done from the previous person that tried to fix this problem. As you can see, our ditch, our gravel, like normal. Everything is normal. Got our pump, plumbed in, a fan, studer vent, runs out to the wall. Take a look at this plumbing to the outside. Just to show y'all, hasn't really rained since last Saturday. Water still coming out from this house. Like I say, just a normal job, different longitude and latitude. Nothing changes. Not the best camera guy in the world, so just have to bear it with me. Plus, I'm crawling on hands and knees. Not too many folks know what that's like. They forgot from being a kid. Lots of piers on the wall. Never seen it like this before, but it's a North Carolina thing, I guess. No builder's the same. That's what makes it all different. I just want to give a big thanks to the homeowner for contacting us. Want a job done right. Seems like no one in this area does anything close to what we do. This is just the beginning. Just pan it around. All looks the same. Like I say, different longitude and latitude. Tanner told me to uh, get steady shots like I was shooting my gun. But like I said before, not a very good shot. I don't even know where my guns are. Hadn't seen them in so long. Got on a special medication. Doctor told me that I uh, had all my guns. So that's what I did. Not even sure if I can find them. Tanner's got me on a different kind of medication. 
told me I'd be better off. So maybe I can get back to a steady hand one day. It's a little dark up in here. The electrician didn't seem to need the light like we normally like. But I left that up to the homeowner. What she wanted to do, so that's what we got. A little light's better than nothing, baby. It's kind of like the burning bridge. Sometimes you get your best light. So, it's been water hose tested. Everything seems to be good. You can tell that the moisture, I don't know if y'all can see that. That's moisture, look. This is what's under your house, right here. Moisture. And that's what we're here for. Here's our last fan. Everything looks good. Now I gotta crawl under this thing. Look at all the moisture in here. Under this. Unbelievable. Let me give a little pan shot right here. Very flat and smooth. Alright. You gotta go under this space right here again. It's like seven inches maybe. Let's see if I can fit again. God. Look at this. If I knew how to zoom in, I'd zoom in. All right, there's the door, Fayetteville, North Carolina, in the history books. I told you, didn't I? Now I need to let every single one of you know, everything you just saw in that video, the reason we stopped at just the French drain work and the new six mil ground barrier and didn't go ahead with all our encapsulation work is because they had a heck of a hurricane there last year and that water level got about 14 inches deep within that crawl space and I want to monitor it right now and I want to make sure that after it comes some heavy, heavy storms that that sump pump is able to get rid of all that water and that if we were to happen to need a second sump pump, then we will be able to do that before we do any of the encapsulation work. But as long as everything goes according to plan, we will be back shortly to finish out doing our signature crawl space encapsulation work right there at the home for Rosie in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So guys, if you've enjoyed seeing, once again, just like I like to show you every single time, how homeowners should be getting treated, how you need to be getting treated, and how to fix these projects in your crawl spaces the right way the first time it's done. If you want the best in the business, the best in the game, there ain't but one place you can get it. There ain't been but one place you can get it. And there ain't but one place you're going to get it. And that's crawlspaceartist.com. Or once again, you can email me directly right this second at I want the best at crawlspaceartist.com. Guys, if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button. Drop me a like on this video and leave me a comment. You already know I do my very best to answer each and every single comment left on this channel. I thank you for your time. I appreciate you being here. Now run out and tell all your other homeowner buddies who they need to holler at if they want the best in the game. You heard?